What's up, everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on January 8th, 2023. As usual, I'm starting off with the focus on figures that are available right now. This does include the Target exclusive She-Hulk comic cover. Also at Target, you can be on the lookout for their exclusive Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. I never did get the original common figure and it has shot way up in value. So I'm definitely going for this Target exclusive. And as far as the other new Cowboy Bebop um, figures are concerned, they are starting to show up in stores. You also see here the Barnes & Noble exclusive Megumi from Jujutsu Kaisen. That is starting to show up in stores and will probably be available on their website as well. Um, also from Jujutsu Kaisen, you see the FYE exclusive Itadori, which is available on their website. And you may find that in stores as well if you have a FYE in your area. And then with Funko.com, they have the diamond variant of the Tapatio Man, which uh, became available and is still available at the time of this recording. If you are a fan of Lounge Fly, especially their mini backpacks, um, they have done reveals of some more items, of course, including especially those mini backpacks. So they have some based on Disney. They got um, based on Looney Tunes here as well and the Jetsons represented. You can check with their official website. There are some also available on Entertainment Earth and some other websites as well. So you should be able to track down these uh, pretty easily if you're interested in them. I also want to point out that Funko Fair for 2023 is coming up very soon. It could be within the next couple of weeks here. And of course, I will try to um, share that information once it becomes available. So there's going to be a lot of new products revealed. And as these reveals happen, the products should be available, or at least most of them should be available for pre-order as well. Maybe not all of the exclusive items, but the majority of what they reveal should be available for pre-order right away. Like I said, I'll do my best to keep you up to date on that information. Now with Box Lunch, they have some exclusive sodas based on Ratatouille, and that does include, of course, Linguini with Chase and also Chef Colette with Chase as well. Again, these are actually already showing up in some Box Lunch locations. You can check the website for availability as well. With Target, you might want to check for some deals, um, you know, some markdown Marvel items that could include the Shuri Pop Pen for as low as $1.50, and then also the Shuri with Pop T for as low as $3. Now, in my own local Target, I did not see markdowns um, that severe. I didn't see them prices that low. I have seen some reduced prices, but not that low. So I do think this is on a location by location basis how they decide to do these particular markdowns. Now with Walmart, some locations also have reduced prices on the deluxe Pop Rocks moments and the movie moments, especially those holiday movie moments. This does not surprise me because they take up a lot of space. And as a matter of fact, Walmarts, they pretty much put those in like their seasonal areas. So um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that they're on clearance for up to 75% off. It is something to be on the lookout for if you are interested in those and you did not grab them around the holidays. Axl Rose, of course, of Guns N' Roses, has a gold figure on the way, and he does have a chase variant that basically matches up with Slash. It also has the skeleton um, face paint going on there, so that one is on the way soon. Um, I may try to give you a reminder if I see that one actually out and about in the wild or hitting websites where it's available to ship out. If you have not caught up with Eddie from Stranger Things, um, he was a Target exclusive here in the States. He is available now with Pop Culture, and typically Pop Culture will not ship exclusives out to the U.S. and Canada. But with this particular figure, he will ship to the U.S. and Canada. So if you're tired of trying to wait for a restock, um, then you might want to go ahead and order the figure in this particular way. I still would like to add that to my collection, but I'm actually going to hold off and see if there is a restock. Typically, I don't worry about um, stickers so much, but if I can actually find it in Target, I think that's the way I would like to get that particular figure. There's no guarantee on a restock, by the way. I do want to go ahead and point that out. No guarantee with that. Now, Snoop Dogg's Doghouse, which I had mentioned previously to you all, um, has actually opened up in Inglewood, California. Now, we already knew about the two exclusives, which are also going to be available on Funko.com. And you see those pictures there in the bottom left. But there are also two other exclusives that were available, him in the um, yellow Lakers jersey. And then he had another exclusive as well, where his hair is actually throwed out. And of course, he has a jersey on there as well. Um, as far as those other exclusives are concerned, they may just be store only for right now. I don't know if they're going be available online at all and we're still waiting for the release of the um the figures that are, are going to be with funko.com as well we thought they might release this week that did not pan out um so we'll just have to keep looking and waiting to see when those figures do become available and i know some people were actually able to make it out to the doghouse that did seem to be pretty cool i saw some of the images online definitely seems like a cool store and that was a cool event
The triple A anime Demon Slayer exclusive that you see pictured here of Tanjiro is available for pre-order right now with various retailers. Um, I know that I've seen it listed with Entertainment Earth. I'm sure some other retailers have it as well. So if you get your pre-order with that, um, it should actually ship out next month in February. The Sid and Marty Croft Pictures NFTs are going to release on January 17th. And you see that one of the physical pops will be the Horatio figure that you see pictured here. And the Virgin Mega Store is getting an exclusive from Hunter Hunter of Kite. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen an exclusive with them previously. I'm not sure if this is the first one or not. But um, that's a figure to be on the lookout, especially if you are a big fan of that particular anime. Here are some random figures that are coming up and um, one that is actually already hitting stores already. Uh, but you see here we have Gandalf versus Balrog, which is a huge movie moment. I'm really looking forward to seeing some other angles on this particular item here. And then the Dolly Parton that you see here is a common figure that's actually already starting to show up in some Hot Topic locations. It does appear to have some um, glitter effect, you know, di diamond effects basically going on with it, even though I don't think it has a diamond sticker. There is some sort of sticker on there, but I can't really read exactly what it says. But like I said, it does have some glitter detailing going on there. And I would not be surprised to see Funko do some more with Dolly Parton. Um, she's a really awesome individual, even if you're not into her music. Of course, she has Dollywood and she does a lot of charity work, um, things with education as well. So she's a very awesome individual. I look forward to seeing what else they do with Dolly Parton. You also see here this vintage Donald Duck, which is part of Disney's 100th anniversary. And I will cover some more of those figures in a moment here. With the live action Little Mermaid, you see that we're getting a couple of pops, including Ariel. And I noticed that this is not uh, the mermaid version of Ariel. So I expect to see, um, of course, at least one of those figures as well. That's not pictured here. Um, also, we're going to get King Triton, Prince Eric and Ursula. And then there is a Sprite bottle cap on the way. And on the back of the box, it does show the Coca-Cola bottle cap, which we've already seen previously in the original Coca-Cola can. Of course, there are different versions of that at this point. And you also see here the Mandalorian on speeder with Grogu, which appears to be a Funko.com exclusive. I'm not 100% sure about that, even though the sticker is there. You know, we'll see what happens with that. Of course, as I learn more about these uh, releases here, I will share that information with you all. Funkoverse strategy games um, don't seem to be hugely popular, at least in my area. I see a lot of them just kind of sitting on shelves and it seems very easy to find the chase variants because people just aren't really looking for them. Um, so you see that Squid Game is getting some Funkoverse strategy games. And I won't lie, you know, if I come across the chases, I might be willing to actually pick these up. I actually do like the actual figures themselves. You know, I, don't, I won't necessarily try to get into the games, um, but yeah, I think the actual little figures are kind of cool. So I have actually picked these up previously for prize pools and for friends. Like I said, you might want to check for them also. You know, this is kind of easy to find the chases. Now, it's no surprise that the Armored Chopper with Chase did release on Funko.com and sold out pretty quickly. I think we all had a feeling that was going to happen. I don't know if there's any chance of a, a restock with that. Uh, if you're able to get one, definitely share in the comments. I, I knew that people had to be quick if they were interested in that figure. Uh, you see here this Dobby figure along with a youth. Uh, youth size pop t um that is available for pre-order with various retailers um the figure i'm actually not sure of the size of the figure i think i want to say that it would be a mini figure but i'm not 100 percent sure about that you can look that up though if you are interested in that and then as far as five nights at freddy's plushes are concerned there are some exclusive ones with hot topic that are available right now with the Disney movie posters, I've been mentioning these um, in the past couple videos, I believe, and we've seen some rough early images, but now we get the official reveal on these. So there is the Fantasia one, which I really like the look of that one. I love the look of the actual cover and the figures that are included as well. We also have here uh, Walt Disney's Pinocchio, of course, and the Snow White one, which I know I've definitely shared that previously. And do remember that these are movie posters. So these are pretty large. And of course, that does have an effect on the price. The prices are kind of hefty and they do take up space. So it is something to consider if you're going to go for um, any of these. And you also see here the Wizard of Oz movie poster as well, which does have a diamond sticker on it. And of course, that's because of her ruby slippers. They do have a you know, glitter effect going on with them. So these are pretty easy to track down if you're interested. And like I said, you just got to consider if it's worth it for you, um, considering the price and the space that they take up. 
So back to Disney's 100th anniversary, you see that they finally did the official reveal for um, Walt Disney himself, along with his drawing of Mickey Mouse from Steamboat Willie. Um, also, there is an Oswald common figure that does have a chase variant. There is a vintage Goofy that's going to be with Target. There's also this exclusive Mickey Mouse with Hot Topic. One side is um, black and white and the other side is color. I'm not sure if I've seen a pop like that before. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think this is the first time you know I've seen a pop done this way. Uh, that Hot Topic exclusive, I think, is actually available already i know it's uh, definitely listed on their website you also see um along with oswald the lucky rabbit that he does have a movie cover that is going to be available and then also a soda figure with a chase variant there and there's also this Lion King movie moment, Hakuna Matata, which is a Walmart exclusive moment that you can pre-order right now on their website. That definitely looks very cool. It's definitely very true to the movie. So it's going to be interesting to see if that turns out to be popular. I think it's already, I mean, I know we're just starting the year, but this is already in the running for the best movie moment of this year. And then we also got the official reveal for the uh, Shazam Fury of the Gods pops. Of course, with um, Shazam himself, he does have a glow-in-the-dark chase variant. Um, his uh, foster siblings there, they have some new figures as well. You know, they did them with the first movie also. And then, of course, we have supporting characters, the villains of the movies represented by these pops. Uh, based on the reveals that uh, DC has done recently, um, I'm just not sure how I feel about the DC movies coming out this year. I'll probably go see all of them, but it's just tough to get excited about them because it seems like uh, that, you know, they really are wiping the slate clean and starting over with the DC universe. So we'll see what happens with that. Like I said, I'll still check out the movies. I'm just not so sure if I want to invest into the figures. Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts about that. And uh, these Shazam figures are actually already starting to show up in stores, including with Hot Topic and Box Lunch. So do be on the look out for them and as a matter of fact some websites are actually all ready to ship these out um, so do bear that in mind as well especially if you're going to go for the shazam chase and then you all we are going to check out some rumors here as always you know some of these may pan out to be true some of them may not we'll see what happens so as far as sodas are concerned we should see vigilante from peacemaker um that's one i'd be interested in picking up myself also velma from scooby-doo and i'm not sure if this is velma just like the classic velma or if it's based on her upcoming um hbo series you know we'll see what happens with that as far as ad icons are concerned, we should see Eggos with syrup. I'm assuming that's going to be treated more like a foodies pop, basically. Um, we're also going to see a couple of versions of Toucan Sam, if this list pans out to be true, including a flocked flying version of Toucan Sam, a blacklight Toucan Sam, and a gray Toucan Sam with hat. And I think this might be like a fruit hat, basically, that he's wearing, but we'll see what happens with it. Now, this is pretty exciting to me. We could see some pops based on Werewolf by Night, including, of course, the werewolf himself um, and Jack Russell, his human form, of course. Elsa Bloodstone with Ravenclaws and a six inch man thing is what I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I really hope that happens. I do like the other man thing pop that Funko did, but it's, it's a short figure. It's not really so true to the character. It's true in terms of design, but just not true in terms of the size of the figure. So that's why I'm looking forward to this six inch figure, hopefully panning out to be true. Um, also, so based on DC, we uh we well I should say based on DC, we could see a new Deathstroke figure, Deathstroke with staff, and it's kind of interesting that Deathstroke actually has a couple of pops at this uh, point. If you ever look him up, he actually has a good number of pops at this point. Uh, we could see an Avatar movie poster from the Killer Clowns. We could see Bibbo on the way as well, and I'd be interested in that. I really do like collecting the Killer Clowns. Um, as far as Ahsoka is concerned, we could see her in a pop ride in the Delta 7B, and then we could also see Ahsoka versus Darth Maul based on Clone War. We could see a flocked Paddington bear from Lucifer. I think I've shared this rumor previously, but I'm just going to put it out there again. Mazikeen with weapons could be on the way. Uh, we could also see a 21 Savage pop coming up. Um, that would not be, you know, surprise me at all if that happens. Uh, we could see a black light version of the MTV Moon Man or Moon Person, as I think they actually ended up putting on the box. Um, I did share this rumor previously. I'm just put it out there again that we could see some Crayola pops, and I think there would be at least two or three of those figures if it pans out. And I'm, I think it's basically just going to be different versions of the crayon box with the face on it. Um, as far as Demon Slayer is concerned, you see this list here. I'm not going to butcher all of the names, and I think I've actually shared this list before, but it's been a while. But uh, we can pretty much, you know, be sure that there's um, going to be more on the way with Demon Slayer, including the figures that I already shared to you previously, including that Rengoku figure, which I'm definitely going to pick up. And, uh, you know, there's a lot on the way with Demon Slayer, I believe. As a matter of fact, 
once the um, Funko Fair happens, we should get some official reveals there on some Demon Slayer figures. So we'll see what happens with that. And then with um, Trigon, remember there should be some Trigon figures on the way and that could include a six inch Descartes. I think is how you say that name there. Forgive me if I mispronounced that there. But yeah, again, as far as these rumors are concerned, we'll just give it some time here. We may see some official reveals based on these with the Funko Fair. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for this edition of Funko News. I know that this was kind of a quick one, but I just want to stay up on information. And uh, y'all, please make sure that you are supporting the video by dropping likes, sharing the videos. If you're a subscriber, I definitely appreciate that. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And everybody, please make sure you have those no notifications on as well to really support the channel and to support these um, videos. Definitely let me know that you want this series to keep going and to going strong, um, you know, by supporting it in those ways. Um, let me know what you saw in this video that you're interested in and if nothing caught your attention i think that's fine you know that you're not always going to see some things that will grab your attention that happens with me as well even though i'm reporting on it you know sometimes i'm looking and i just don't see anything that i want to go for you know it just happens that way sometimes but if you are interested in anything definitely let me know and let me know what you've been seeing in stores recently as well because there might be some things out and about in the stores that i've just not seen yet with my own eyes i definitely appreciate you all taking the time to check this out i hope that you had a wonderful happy new year and i look forward to all the great things coming up in 2020 and I'll talk to you all again real soon.